All right, good afternoon traders. Today is October 23rd, 2024. This is the BYOB market wrap up. My name is John Kerrigan. I moderate the BYOB trading room. All right, let's go take a look at some charts. 10 minute chart on the SPY coming into the close. We have a 10 minute uptrend. We're still up over. Let's take a look at the two hour and then we'll go talk about that for a minute. Got a two hour downtrend going into the close on the daily chart. Okay, what do we got? We got price closing underneath a bearish cross, but over the rising 17 and over prior all time high anchored VWAP. All right, so right about there. So price up over that prior all time high anchored VWAP and still making higher lows and higher, low, higher highs. It's not broken yet. All right. One of the BYOB members wants to know how I come up with the pivot. Okay. So now I look for price where price comes down and price comes back up. So, so far it's going to be tough, but all they did was melt down today and then they came up. So it would have to be right about there. Okay, so that looks like about 578.24 right there. See where price comes down and then price comes up to meet that. That was the only uh, common, common ground today because they did nothing but sell off and then buy back right there. Okay, so there's SPY. Uh, we did the daily chart. All right, still in an uptrend. We just did the pivot. Do that right off the 10 minute chart. Okay, maybe a little bit lower. Right there. Okay, so that's right about 578. Almost right on the number. All right. I am expecting price to go up to 580 tomorrow. All right, we'll see. Got some earnings tonight, so we'll see what happens. So there's SPY. Let's go look at QQQ. All right, QQQ, same deal. Lower high, lower low, closing underneath the bearish trap, underneath the 17 EMA. Still up over anchored VWAP. Still making higher highs and higher lows. The trend is still established. The trend is still working. All right, you stay with the trend till she throws your stuff out the window. Okay, FNGU. All right, FNGU, making higher highs and higher lows. Price action, lower high, lower low. Closing underneath the bearish cross and underneath the 17 EMA. Price still up over the all-time high anchored VWAP. Price still making higher highs and higher lows. This chart is still technically bullish. We haven't made a lower low. All right, so there's FNGU, IWM. All right, if they break this low, they become in a downtrend. IWM, lower high, lower low, closing under the bearish trap under the 17 EMA, but over the 2024 or the three year anchored high VWAP right there. Price still bullish, making higher highs, still have higher lows, still over the uptrend. Okay, so all the Fab Five look like they're still in uptrends. Got one more to visit. Diamond Dow. Okay, price action. All right, got lower high, lower low, closing underneath the bearish trap underneath the 17, um, trying to hold on to the prior all-time high anchored VWAP right there. See how it's closing underneath that? You see a little bit of red underneath the pink line. All right, it's still bullish. They haven't made a lower low. All right, still bullish. Prefer to be up over the pink line. Be interesting to see what happens tomorrow for the technicals. Well, we spent the day in the sell zone, came down to the oversold zone. I really wish we'd have just 
camped out in the oversold zone and got it over with, okay? And then so we could rip tomorrow, all right? But for price action, got lower highs and lower lows, lower highs and lower lows. Still no higher high yet, okay? Notice that, still no higher high. But it doesn't mean they won't gap up and do it. We'll see what happens. So price action, spent the day in the sell zone. That's T2122. T2123, I imagine they sold off all day. Yeah, they gapped down. Bulls never filled the gap. And they melted all the way through the rising 200 SMA. They put in one green candle bar at the very end of the day. Price underneath the 200, I prefer it to be over the 200. Let's go take a look at the three bar chart. Three red candle bars today. Still got that 200 rising up from above. Hey, a little bit of rest is normal after all of this bullishness. Okay, look at, you've got basically right here. Let's just take it from here. Okay, from 9-11 all the way until... October 20th, 22nd, that's a month and a half of nothing but a bull stampede right there, okay? Even the bulls need a rest once in a while, all right? So there's T2123 three bar. Notice the price now underneath the 17, the rising 17 EMA. FNGU uh, sold off. From the beginning of the day to the end of the day. Back underneath the curling 200 SMA. Still in quadrant four. That's my favorite. Still holding on to the upper third right there. We'll see if they can bounce back up there tomorrow. There's FNGU. Let's take a look at some sectors. We'll start off with energy. Actually, we'll start off with gold. Gold yesterday made a new all-time high in the pre-market. Guess what? They did have a new all-time high in the pre-market. So if you're playing the futures, they got a new all-time high. Gold today, lower high, lower low. Closing inside the bullish trap over the rising 17 EMA. Gold is bullish. Gold is in an uptrend. Silver... Silver yesterday put in a new 12-year high. I think it's working on a 13. Yes, today's price action. All right, lower high, lower low, closing in the bullish trap over the rising 17, over the prior all-time high, over the prior 12-year high anchored VWAP right there. That's a 12-year high right there. You miss anything? Yeah, we uh, we had a meltdown today in the spy. That's all you missed. Nothing, nothing pretty. All right, let's take a look at USO. USO. All right, in a downtrend, they took out this low price action for today. Lower high, lower low, closing above the bearish trap, and just under the 17 EMA right there USO still in a downtrend UNG higher low higher high closing over a bearish trap but under the falling 17 still in an uptrend they didn't break this low okay still in an uptrend uh, UNG still in an uptrend USO not in an uptrend Precious metals, both in extremely bullish uptrends. Take a look at SMH. SMH, up over the prior all-time high anchor VWAP. That would be the pink line, making higher lows and higher highs. Everything bullish, still in an uptrend, just resting right there, SMH. XLK, same deal, okay? Up over the prior all-time high anchor VWAP right there. All right? Just resting, consolidating. Price action making higher highs and higher lows it's in a daily uptrend. That's bullish. XLI, industrials. 
making higher highs, higher lows over a prior all-time high anchored VWAP. Price is spiking through there right now. Price uh, closing underneath a bearish trap and underneath the 17. XLI losing the mojo right there. All right, XLI still in an uptrend. XLU, uh, XLU in an uptrend, making higher highs, and, uh, higher lows, and higher highs up over a prior all time high anchored VWAP. Price action is bullish. Okay, nice bullishness on XLU. Let's take a look at XLF. XLF moving up and holding the higher ground. Okay, up and over. That's bullish right there. Price action, uh, you can see, is up over the pink line. That's the prior all time high anchored VWAP. That's one of the priors. This is the all time high right there. Okay, price action, uh, making higher lows and higher highs up over the rising 17 EMA, still closing the day in the bullish trap over the 17 EMA. Let's take a look at XRT. XRT. Uh, I got to do this. XRT still above the midpoint. Hasn't made a lower low yet, so it's still bullish because we made a higher high. We just squeaked it out. All right, price action is making higher highs and higher lows. This is the all-time high anchored VWAP. That's the pink line starting back in. Oh, that'd be post-COVID 2021 right there. All right, this is the retail sector. You can see on the retail sector price action moving up. Price action moving up and holding the higher ground. That's bullish. Very long extended bull flag there. You can see almost all of 24, 20, 2024 is a bullish fabric flag right there. Here's your flag pole. There's the flag. All right, so that's XRT. Let's take a look at IYT. Here's transports. Transports today uh, up over prior all-time high anchored VWAP. That's the blue line right there, making higher highs and higher lows. Still in an uptrend, uh, kind of hanging out in the upper third. It kind of lost... Uh, the upper quadrant, it was up here in quadrant four. Now it's just over the midpoint and still making higher highs and higher lows up over the all time high anchor VWAP. That's still bullish right there. Oh, excuse me, I'm yawning. All right, so that's it for today. Any questions? Thank you for sharing, Ed. So Ed just shared See if I can move it. I can't move it. I can't see it. Let's try moving this. Tesla earnings. And they have a $685 billion in market cap. They had $707. Looks like they fell, they fell off some. Um, Tesla is... Earnings forecast was... Forecast was $0.60. Cents. Earnings per share was 72. They beat on that. On revenue, they expected more revenue. And they on the top line, they did not beat. But on the bottom line, they crushed it. Okay? Thanks, Ed. All right, so Tesla crushed it on the bottom line. On the top line, they missed by... Well, it looks like about 300, 300 million. 300 million they missed by. Just 300 million. It must have been all those rebates. All right. That's it for me today, okay? I will see you guys all tomorrow <sighs> at 8 o'clock in the morning. Let's do it again, all right? Thanks, Alan. Thanks. Robert, Fido, Mel, Ed, everybody, appreciate it. Thank you. Everybody have a beautiful evening.
Thank you for being here.